Support WrestleTalk! Enable notifications. Hello and welcome to the WrestleTalk News, I am Luke Owen. It was recently reported that current UFC lightweight champion Conor McGregor was in talks with WWE to have a match at next year's WrestleMania. The story came from the very unreliable UK tabloid The Sun, and UFC president Dana White has channeled his inner Kurt Angle by shooting down the rumour telling Fox 5, it's not true, it's absolutely not true. White went on to show Good Day New York's co-host Rosanna Scotto a text message he'd received from Vince McMahon when White asked if anyone from WWE had spoken to McGregor. Which simply read, News to me, it might be good someday, but not now. Someone who might not be good right now though is Jinder Mahal. The WWE Champion was missing from this week's episode of Smackdown Live following his victory over Shinsuke Nakamura at Hell in a Cell. He did work a dark match following 205 Live, which saw him retain his championship in a triple threat against Dolph Ziggler and Bobby Roode. And there is a reason he wasn't on TV. Dave Meltzer reports in the Wrestling Observer newsletter that Mahal is currently working through a shoulder injury, which he has taped up at live events, as seen here in this image taken from a WWE show in Boise, Idaho, which he then untaped when appearing in front of WWE cameras. Meltzer adds on Wrestling Observer Radio that although he is working house shows and dark matches with his shoulder taped up, he is being heavily protected. He worked the dark match on Tuesday, but he was barely in the ring. Speaking of being in the ring, and I'm afraid I've got some good news. Stu Bennett, previously known as Wade Barrett in WWE, was recently named the general manager of WCPW, which is soon to be rebranded as Defiant Wrestling. With Bennett taking on an authority figure role and spending more time on film sets in British films like Vengeance and Fanged Up, there was some talk that he may never step back into the ring again. However, in an interview with Sport Bible at a WCPW W event, Bennett hasn't ruled anything out. There's days where I think I don't miss it at all, and then there's days like yesterday where you see the kind of reactions the guys were getting and get that desire to get back in the ring. I'm 99% certain I will wrestle again at some point. I just couldn't tell you when. Bennett left WWE in 2015, and when asked if he would go back, the former Intercontinental Champion said he wouldn't rule out a return in some capacity. I think there was a lot of resentment, certainly from my side, with certain certain people in management there. I don't think we'll be sending each other Christmas cards at the moment, but I've certainly not gone out of my way to trash them. They haven't gone out of their way to trash me. So I think a little water under the bridge might do us both some good. Maybe just let off some steam, Bennett. We asked you to vote on whether you thought Raw or Smackdown Live was better this week on Wednesday's edition of the Wrestle Ramble, and 65% of you agreed with Ollie and I going with Raw, while 34% felt Smackdown Live was the superior. Show. And the winner of this week's Wrestling Memes contest has been decided. We asked you to head over to Wrestling Memes Facebook page to create the best meme from Sami Zayn rescuing Kevin Owens from certain death. And thank you to everyone who took part. With a special shout out to Maurice Mutterban for Sami Zayn conducting an orchestra. The winner, however, is Robert Lopez, who recreated the iconic final scene of James Cameron's Titanic. What is the real reason Neville quit WWE? And which made Major Star has signed with the company. Click the videos to the left to find out more. Press subscribe and support WrestleTalk on Patreon. I have been Luke Owen, and that was wrestling.